This video is sponsored by none other than Lead Heroes, you guys. Lead Heroes has got you covered when it comes to telemarketed leads and virtual staffing. On the lead side, whether it be Medicare supplement leads, final expense leads, turning 65 leads, they just got something for everybody. They can also actually have you plug in with one of their virtual staff members on the staffing side to where you can pay by the hour for one of their trained and very well vetted staff members to help you out in your business in a virtual assistant format. Just because you watch this video, they're going to give you 10% off any order you make on their website. Link to the site can be found down in the description, so go ahead and check them out. Hey, what's up, guys? Christian Brindle here. I'm here at the 2022 Medicare Con, and I'm joined here in person with my friend Pete Fournay. Um, what do I have to say about you that people don't already know? I don't know, man. I, I think, know. I mean, like, um, Pete's a sales master, right? Appreciate it. Um, Top producer, hundred thousand in life premium in a month. Um, president of sales at IFG, just unbelievable talent, and um, really, really does a lot of good for the industry. So, thank you for taking some time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man, absolutely. Thanks, Thanks for grabbing me. <laughs> so, question. For, my first question for you is, what are your early impressions so far of MedicareCon 2022? Uh, Justin leveled up tremendously. I think the the venue's fantastic. I think the uh, the little details, like the room key being uh, yeah. all Medicare conned out, was pretty cool. The labels yeah. on the in, um, hotel uh, did a really bang up job, for, yeah. especially f just for being year two. Food was good. Drinks are good. Hospitality's good. Mm -hmm. It's been an excellent experience so far, day one. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. Um, I wanted to pick your brain a little bit for the audience about. How does a person go about writing a hundred grand in a month of life premium, right? Like, because if I remember correctly, you 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 did some direct mail drops, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. You bought some age leads. Correct. I've always been under the impression that you can make sales with any kind of lead. Oh if yeah. You know what you're doing, and you know how to conduct the phone call. Any lead works, and any lead doesn't work depending on how the agent works. Right. Right? Yep, 100%. So if you go to work, it's gonna work. If you don't, it's not going to. Um, and any lead's a good lead. On the age lead situation, uh, you just have to remember at least my averages, 10% of your age leads are easy sits. So if you have 500 age leads on hand, that should constitute 50 appointments, mm -hmm. right? And depending on how hard you're working, that might be two weeks, that might be a month, that might be 60 days, but that pack or whatever should translate directly into 10% um, set yeah. ratio, right? So I worked backwards. Um, the number itself wasn't that scary to me, even though it sounded terrifying. Um, and I set the goal at 150 to close out on 100 and see what happened. I wound up like with 117 and netted 115 because one fell off, to be completely honest. Um, but with that, um, I just worked backwards on the numbers. So my average deal size is around 262 a month for life insurance. So that right there, if I had 500 age leads, I'm gonna get 50 appointments. That times 262 is 150, right? Because 262 a month's like 3,100 in premium or so. Mm -hmm. So that should be my 150 plus referrals, plus brand new leads. So I only spent about 6,800 bucks to do it. Mm -hmm. um, did a couple mail drops that did really terrible returns. <laughs> so, cause I'm in <laughs> Wilmington and we got like North, South, West, and the ocean, right? So there's right. not a lot of land to drop in. So I only did one county, which might have been a mistake, but whatever. <laughs> uh, and it returned terrible, so I went back to my roots and went the age lead route. Love it, yeah. love it. Um, here's a question for you that I think a lot of people that watch this, especially if they're newer in the business, probably would wonder. Sure. What is the best way for someone to become really good at selling? Because mm. selling's an art form, would you agree? Yeah, oh, 100%. And uh, I think you can turn into it. I mean, sales is like innately, you're born with it. I feel like I was born with it. Andrew over there is born with it, yep. right? But you can, it is a skill that you can learn and master and you can develop someone from a fetus salesperson into a ma mature one. Yeah. I think the easiest way to do it is to pay for it. That's your ultimate shortcut. Agreed. Um, whether, whether you're paying for it with time, in being invested with a mentor or an upline or whatever is great, but I'm a big proponent of I want to get to X as fast as humanly possible. And if you have all the answers to that, and that's going to cost me 2,500 bucks, I'm swiping my credit card, right? Mm -hmm. So um, now you either have time or money in any industry. So I don't care how you pay for it, but you got to pay for it in some capacity, mm -hmm. and you got to put in your reps. You know, you're not going to be good at anything swinging once or twice at it. Yep. I've probably done. 
5,000 life insurance presentations over my career. Yeah. Like, so it takes a little while, but you got to invest. You yeah. got to. 100%. I, I couldn't agree more with you. I mean, it, I think the people that have come here this weekend are investing in themselves. Yeah. Right? It's like it's the old saying, get in the room. Yep. Right? And you get in the room and you have conversations with big time people, people that are doing things that you want to do. And even if you're at a high level, you can pick up a couple of things you can integrate into your business. 100%. Later. I learn something at every event I go to, whether I'm yeah. speaking, attending, it doesn't matter. I'm constantly writing notes. Yep. Now, you have to want to, though, right? Because a lot of people, and you've seen them at events, too, they come and they're like, oh, this sucks, <laughs> like, whatever. And they're naysaying, like, why even bother coming? You know, yep. you're going to spend the money to show up, take something from it, and use it and apply it within your business. 100%. Um, last question, because I know you've got other things to sure. do. Then talk to me all day. Um, <laughs> What, what in, in your opinion, mm -hmm. is the best vehicle in the insurance business for someone to start out with? Was it life insurance? Is it Medicare? Is Ooh. it health insurance? If you had to start over again today, yeah, where I would, would you start? I would have started Medicare day one with final expense, probably. It's the easiest, at least me getting a new agent out the gate. Your FE is going to pay you instantly, mm -hmm. and then you're going to start on that renewal train. Because I didn't get into Medicare until like two years ago, which mm -hmm. was, I poo-pooed it for a while like an idiot because you don't know what you don't know. Uh, and I was focused on that upfront cash. But if I could start all over again from 11 years, that renewal train would be disgusting yeah. at this point. But you're marrying that with final expense because the learning curve is so small, you're selling a death benefit. That's it. It's no, mm -hmm. I mean, there are different concepts that I can teach people, but at the end of the day, it's a funeral plan, right? Yep. So if you can bang out $60, $70 a month apps all day, you have 20 presentations a week, you're going to make six figures on your own pen year one for FE. And then let's say you write, uh, maybe you just work AEP and you write 100 apps. Mm -hmm. That's another 28, 30 grand a year in renewals. Year two is disgusting, right? So yep. if I restart all over again, I would go back to basics. I would not be captive again because I feel like I, even though the training was really good, you almost like lit two years on fire, right? right. Because you don't know what you don't know exactly. as well. So I'd start independent. I would marry FE with Medicare immediately. Make sure you go with someone that has the software to do so. So it makes it kind of dummy proof, right? Mm -hmm. When you're shopping plans, you can't do it manually, but that's the ultimate start. And then expand within your portfolio based on who your client demographic is. So if you're in FE and Medicare, a natural progression would go to learning annuities. Because right. it's the same thing, it's solutions for older people, right? Mm -hmm. If you're in the mortgage protection space, maybe you wanna learn how to cross sell ACA instead. So you're not muddying the water, right? Too many agents go off on, you know, yeah. with, with goo goo eyes. And All they're like, the place. oh yeah. yeah, I want ACA and short term medical and Medicare and whatever. FE and Medicare to start and then slowly expand beyond that. Great stuff, great stuff. Um, thank you for your time. Absolutely, Thanks man. For your it's great seeing you. Anybody that watches this, where can they find you? What's the best place to find Pete? Sure, PeteFournier.com. Uh, you can follow me on any social media platform at Peter J. Fournier, F O U R N I E R. Slide into my DMs, hit me up with a question, whatever you guys need. Awesome. Well, guys, um, if you like this video, you like content, like it, let me know by dropping a like, comment your thoughts, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. See ya.